ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه به ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهدي كتابه فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له الاحد الصمد الفرد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه اشهد بانك يا رسول الله قد بلغت رساله واعطيت الامان ونصحت الامه وكشف الله عز وجل لك الامه وجاهدت في سبيل ربك حتى اتاك اليقين اللهم صل وسلم عليه وعلى اله واصحابه وعلى انصاره واحبابه وعلى جميع من سن بسنته واهتدى بهديه وسار على نهجه الى يوم الدين عباد الله اني اوصيكم ونفسي اولا بتقوى الله امتثالا لقول الله عز وجل يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله عن خلقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون الا خير كلام كلام الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله بنار انه متع الله ورسوله وقد اشهد ان لا ومن يعصي ما اغفر له وهو نسال الله رب العرش العظيم ان يجعلني واياكم جميعا لما يحبه ويرضاه والعمل بما فيه خير وصلاة للاسلام والمسلمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي ثم ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته. While greeting you all for this blessed day Friday like a Eid every week, let's mention a personality that is considered the father of all prophets. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. This is necessary for us to remind him at a time when we are just a couple of weeks away to celebrate Eid al-Adha here. While at the same time, millions and millions of people will be going to Mecca to humble themselves in worship and devotion. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fulfill the fifth pillar of Islam and Hajj. Of all occasions, regardless of the number, regardless of ethnicities and cultures, and the people from far and wide gather in one place. No matter when you pray Salatul Al Aid, we remember Ibrahim. No matter who put our lives and sacrifice our animals on Eid al Hadi here and on Yom Nahr over there, we all remember Sayyidina Ibrahim. He was indeed a living man. He was indeed a man who lived a life in a society deep rooted in ship, filled with disbelief. He grew up. And he is the one who showed us that if you are sincere to find the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will And we know his method of knowing the true Allah by looking at the stars, at the moon, at the sun. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a realization that the one who comes and says cannot be a true Lord. His father's name is an educational football. So I really request all of you who are present here, especially those who are parents, families, and mothers, so that we can translate those beautiful lessons to our children. In addition, it says that Ibrahim's father's name was Laf, but his famous name, as we find in Surah Qayyim, but his father Ibrahim will be Azar. He says that his father was Azar. When the opinion was that Azar, his father, was a devout worshiper of idols, the one who used to make and 
themselves. I mean, you don't want anybody to abuse those idols. It is said that one of the idols that he showed a lot of devotion is named as Azar. And Adam and Ibrahim Islam was supposed to be named and became famous by the name of Azar. He was born in, in a in a in a Qariya, in a village called Ruta, somewhere in Damascus. Ibn Abbas said that Ibrahim was born in a place called Babel. Ibrahim is a unique personality. He was a Muslim. He was a true believer in the oneness of Allah and his own father, he was an idol worshiper. Ibrahim is the one who taught us that when it comes to put your will, where you put your will, when your will comes in contradiction to Allah's will, so we have to surrender our will and uphold Allah's will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about Ibrahim and he said, إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَلِيَا لِلَّذِي فَرَعُ السَّنَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ عَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ I'm the one who turned my face to my Lord. Who is my Lord? The one who created the heavens and the earth. Ibrahim was described in the Quran by the word Hanif. Hanif means the most pure and the purest in believing in practicing and acting out the concept of Tawheed. When it comes to being a Muahid, then it has nothing to do with the shirk. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala categorically described. He said, if you want to learn about what Tawheed is, then it's fair some time and learn about the concept of Tawheed, and if you want to like to see the model who practice that, it is the personality of Sayyidina Ibrahim, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ma kana Ibrahim Yahudiyya. He said Ibrahim was not a Jew. Wala Muslimiyya. He was neither Christian. A complete and comprehensive negation. Then who he was? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned two points. Instead, wala in kana hanifan. Instead, he was hanif. As we said, the truest believer in the oneness of Allah, Muslim, he was a Muslim. And who is Muslim? The one who surrenders his will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim came at a time, as we mentioned in the beginning, that the society was deep rooted in the field of disbelief. So Ibrahim had a man at task. Humanist task to prove that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above all idols, asnam, pictures, images, rocks that we worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim al-Islam's way of education was so beautiful. He taught us when you prove your point and when you tell others that your religion is true, go ahead and say that your religion is true, but do not insult others. Do not target others. Do not make mockery and fun. Instead, prove your point with reason, with logic. Because we are not authorized to insult, to mock, to abuse, to ridicule anybody, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. Ibrahim realized that these people, they actually have to learn what the true concept of lordship is. And when the true concept is being understood properly, that's where they will be guided. So Ibrahim told them there are fundamental qualities.
fundamental care business. And if they are missing, there cannot be a true Lord. So he mentioned three of them, and I'll quote you from the Quran. He said the true Lord is the one who has absolute authority and control to create and to originate things. And that's why he told them, Allah khalaqani wa huwa yadeen. It's my Allah who created me. In other words, he told them, I was non-existent. He brought me out from Adam. I was not there. He brought me out. So he's the Khalid and he's the Father. Father means the one who originates him without any pre-shaped model. You know the engineers, today they make buildings, so they need to have a man. They keep on looking the whole time they're building a masjid or a building. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Father. Father is the one who originates things from his scratch. And he says good, and he becomes. So he is Father. Ibrahim also told them that the true Lord must have the full authority to provide sustenance. What kind of Lord do you worship? That they do not have authority to give you food when you feel hungry. When the who are you trying
You ask them. They are unable to help you. He said, they cannot give you any benefit. And they cannot harm you.
And in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can improve our act of worship by looking at Sayyidina Ibrahim. He was Hanif. He was Hanif as we said. He was not only a believer in the oneness of Allah, but he was the most true in believing the concept of Tawheed. Ibrahim al Hanif. Ibrahim's character, he was Hanif. He was a poet being person. Very nice, very decent personality. The one who doesn't get angry. The one who has gotten control over his feelings, over his anger, over his emotions and desires. And he turned out to be Halim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not mention these qualities about a man unless I think he does. Allah loves Ibrahim so much that if you serve your foot in the Quran, we want to be thankful, servant of Allah, for all the bounty that He gives. Because Allah told Muhammad Shafi'a al-Yadami, Ibrahim was a thankful servant of Allah for his bounty on him. So increase your thankfulness. Ibrahim was given the title of father. Ibrahim was our father. Minnat Abi Ibrahim. Allah told Muhammad follow the religion of your father, Ibrahim. And father is a household. In the house where there is a family unit, the father is his status is, is higher. When Ibrahim becomes the father of everybody, then we can safely imagine the status of Ibrahim as a father. Ibrahim was Khalid. Ibrahim was friend of Allah. None on the face of this earth got this unique title that Allah told to him, you are my friend. So there must have been some qualities in Ibrahim that Allah loved him. So as a community we come forward in this beautiful message of Al-Wali. Al-Wali means Allah's name. We need to increase our love with Allah and in the houses of Allah. I want to make you come in large numbers. Prior to your visit, nowadays, it's an advanced communication. Give an email, send one text. Bring your friends. The one who guides one or two to do someone good is like the one who performs. So that was it will be full of Asha. But we have a huge number of families living around. So we need to be ambassadors of the religion of Sayyidina Ibrahim. And that's what that means, and I conclude the khutbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, You need a model. Qad kaanat lakum uswatun hasanatun fi Ibrahim. If you are looking for a beautiful model, here is Ibrahim. Look at Sayyidina Ibrahim. Read about him. Learn about him. Look at his achievements, at his accomplishments, at his struggle, how he started by looking one day at the star when he began for search to reach the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the end. I am positive that if we were to make Sayyidina Ibrahim as our true role model, not only will we remember him for the rest of our life, we will be guided to the right path. Allahumma inni da'i fa amin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama salli ka ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Sinna ka amin majid. Allahumma salli ala ala awalim. Wa salli ala ala al-akhirin. Wa salli ala 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 وقنا على النار وقفنا من جنة مع الله يا عبد يا رب ربنا ذلنا أنفسنا وإن تقلنا ورحمنا لكم من المخاسين اللهم أعلن الحق ذلكنا تباع وأعلن الباطل باطلا ذلكنا تباع ربنا أعلن في الدنيا حسن وفي الآخرة حسن وقنا على النار إن الله يأمر العدو الأسلام ويكتب الفرد وينهى من الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي 